not again. Can't stand this noise. I can't think straight oh, and we here. left poor old Grandpa in the room too. Sorry, Grandpa. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's get to it. Uh, there are two eggs right here in the fireplace. Uh, they have to be unlocked by a special code first. You kind of make a C pattern here. Like that. For cyan, maybe? And nothing immediately happens, but we just unlocked two eggs. Each one has its own second code to punch in. Uh, here's one of them. It has a very similar code, but this time you round it out. Now this is not an O, it's a... well, just listen closely. Ah, my friend, you brought the Big Macs and the fries. The donuts, my friend. Did you bring the donuts? The donuts. Give me the donuts. Well, the donuts. You fool! <laughs> I think that's my favorite one. Uh, but there is a second egg in here that was also unlocked by that C. Uh, you make kind of a crosshairs pattern. You'll see why in a second. We don't see any immediate effects, but that's because the egg is outside. Now we can actually improve upon this egg if we go to the map real quick. Uh, here's the clock tower appearing for the first time on the map. Uh, but anyway, if you rotate the tower over to the docks, then you make this egg do something extra. Hey look, we changed the tower to a gun turret. Now, this happened when we put the C and the crosshairs into the fireplace. However, if you try to go up to the tower and view it, it temporarily disappears. So we'll have to see it from down here, sorry. And the reason I rotated it toward the docks? Well, you'll see. There it goes. All right. It only works when it's facing the docks. Next egg. Um, there's one in the planetarium. I think I've mentioned that a couple times before. I hope you were paying attention. Oh yeah, this is the cow head. You know what I'm gonna do first, right? I know, it's a waste of time, but it's October... Hey, everyone forgot my birthday! What time is it? It's 10... 18? 19. It just changed. Whoa, there it is. It looks familiar somehow. I don't know. Alright, anyway, to the egg now. It's another two-part egg. You start by setting it to March of 1978. Uh, this slider doesn't matter at all. You'll see how this one comes in in a minute. And you get something, it doesn't matter. The second part is you change the month to November. And it's playing Pong. And I'm losing badly. Well, I can fix that. Look at this. I can control the left paddle with the time slider. It's not keeping score or anything. I guess my competitive spirit is what's keeping me going. Eh, this is kind of boring. I'll just let him win, I guess. Uh, next egg. All the way on the other side of the island. At the clock tower here. You may have to turn the brightness up on your monitor for this one. Ah, door. This isn't the most exciting one, uh, but if you look in the corner on the ceiling here, you can see the letters D-O-U-G. Now, personally, I still believe this ceiling should not exist, and we can view all the way to the top. 
They could have put Doug on the wall. Okay, last one. Now, as I've mentioned before, Spider had some really weird clues for some of these eggs. Uh, well, this one would be no exception. Uh, the code for the safe here is 423. It's a tribute to the USS Torsk, SS-423. It's a submarine. As you can see, it has no impact on the lock there, but that's not our concern. Um, these other buttons don't matter. What matters here is this arrow right here needs to be turned on, which is gonna sink the ship, but that's all right, because now I have a gun. Awesome. Um, I don't know how to fire this thing, though. But here's a fun fact. This egg here, as well as the gun turret, they are tributes to an April Fool's joke that Cyan made in 2000. They announced the development of Mist Mayhem. It was supposed to be a 3D remake of Mist, but in the form of a multiplayer first-person shooter game. Obviously, this was never actually in production, but the joke ultimately led to the announcement of Real Mist. Now, I know we can't have both, but between the gun and the ship, I think I'd rather have the ship. It just seems right. I mean, I don't know how to fire the gun, and besides, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? The sun rising over the docks? How picturesque. Anyway, those are all the eggs I'm aware of, so let's take a brief moment to tip our hats to those that created this game. And thus concludes our exploration of Real Mist. Now, I know that the ending wasn't all that exciting, but then again, neither was the rest of the game. Lance, what did I tell you? But I thought I was supposed to do that because I thought it was funny and you said you wanted me to do something. No. Stuff. But you said the other day... No. Fine. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. The ending wasn't all that exciting, but we don't play adventure games just to see the ending. We play adventure games for the puzzles and the journey from start to finish. Besides, Myst does have a strong storyline. It's just that the game doesn't give it all away at the beginning, or even at the end. The game's style is a lot more subtle than that. Anyway, that's all I had to say. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed watching these videos as much as I enjoyed making them, and I hope to see you again next time.